guys, it finally looks like science is realizing that we don't die. Well done, science. I think they're starting to catch up. Now, this has been broadcast by CBS News, so it's mainstream. And here we have medical researchers researching what happens to consciousness after we die. And if it's just snuff it, lights out, or if something else goes on. And as he says in this video, people come back reporting having experiences. Now, some people don't remember, but a small percentage do. I think it's because when the consciousness comes back in, the brain doesn't always accept or absorb those memories, so they forget, because the brain goes back online. But some, they keep that remembering of what happens after they die. Now, they're clinically dead. Their heart is not beating. There's no electrical activity in the brain. Their eyes will be closed as well. So how can they perceive what is going on literally there's no activity in the brain or body whatsoever and they can be uh, declared dead for several minutes even hours he says then be brought back to life and be aware of what's going on around them as well as some people have anecdotal experiences of seeing a light or having some other profound spiritual experience. So here you go, this is really interesting. And the fact that it's on mainstream media is fantastic, because then maybe it's gonna trigger some more awakenings, people are gonna think, oh wow. And it does open up a whole realm for science and those uh, Newtonian believers that only believe in physical Newtonian laws or atheist scientists are gonna have to think again, aren't they? Here we go. So what happens when we die? It's a question that humanity has wrestled with throughout history. But a new study conducted by NYU may have found some answers. Dr. Sam Parnia is the Director of Critical Care and Resuscitation Research at NYU Langone School of Medicine, where he ran this study. Thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Parnia. Pleasure. Thank you so for having me. what would you say, what actually happens when you're clinically dead? You know, when people die, essentially it's when the heart stops. So this has been going on for as far as we know, millennia or longer. And when the heart stops, you stop breathing and your brain shuts down. And that's how we declare people dead. And that's when we give a time of death and we give them a note. And maybe to be honest with you, until about 50 years ago, that was the point of death. So people become lifeless, motionless, the brain shuts down. But now... So here we see that everything shuts down, the heart has stopped and the brain is shut down through advances in medicine, we can actually bring people back to life, even after they've gone beyond that threshold of death, um, and study what happens to them. And one of the interesting things, of course, is that the brain completely shuts down, as I said, but what's fascinating is that the cells inside the body, and particularly the cells inside the brain, do not suddenly become annihilated. They go through a process of decay that can take a few hours, which is why we can actually medically bring people back to life after they have technically gone beyond that threshold of death for tens of minutes if not hours of time afterwards. And that of course raises many interesting questions about what happens when we die. What we have found is that over the last few decades, many millions of people have now come back and many of them have reported actually, anecdotally, that they've been able to see and hear things going on, even though from our perspective they should have been dead and their brain should not be functioning at all. So it's great that mainstream science is actually taking note of these things now. So instead of ignoring it, they're actually researching and recording people's experiences now. At any rate, so this particular study is the largest study ever carried out in the world. It was done at 15 medical centers across the US and in Europe. And we studied more than 2,000 people who'd gone through this cardiac arrest or process of death. And we did not expect people to have any consciousness or, or awareness. Mm -hmm. But intriguingly, up to 40% of people came back and had had a perception of being aware of what was happening to them, even though they had technically gone beyond the threshold of death. So these people are clinically dead, and you've got up to 40% of people remembering something when they are brought back to life. Why do you think that is? Well, there's a lot to it. Um, I should also add that among that group, 10% had a very deep, profound, mystical experience that was very true to them. But interestingly, 2% actually had full awareness, could describe all the events that were going on that were validated. So of course the question is, why does that happen? And we don't have the answers, because to our scientific model, when people have died, there should be no more conscious awareness going on. Uh, but it sounds like maybe consciousness is able to continue, and by that I don't mean that they're awake, but that entity that makes us who we are, makes Sam who he is, makes Rina who she is, the self, the mind, seems to continue and doesn't become annihilated after. 
So he's saying that it doesn't mean that we're awake. So these people are unconscious and yet they're having experiences that they're bringing, bringing through. They're dead. Their brains are not working. So from our spiritual perspective, the soul is still hanging around and perceiving what's going on in the room. And this is what he'll touch upon is that people see what's going on in the room and then they're brought back to life because they're able to save them. And then they say what's gone on and this is validated. This has been, been researched. So the soul is still hanging around the body. It's not gone yet. A person has gone through that process of death. Were there any of the people that you studied that completely lost all consciousness? Well, that's what I was trying to explain. Yeah. Everybody loses consciousness immediately as soon as the heart stops. It's not like they're awake and watching us. Well, you mentioned that there were some people who remember there was some sort of mystical experience that they were going right. through. Were there some people who said, no, didn't feel anything? So some people don't have any recollections. Mm -hmm. What we don't know is whether they had experiences and forgot it afterwards, and that may be what's happening. Because of course we forget a lot of things, and most of the people who are brought back have issues to do with their treatments. We give them sedative drugs, which wipes out their memories. So that's part of what we're studying now, is does everybody have this experience? And how long does mind and consciousness continue in some format, even though we've gone beyond the threshold of death? So he's saying in some format, so he's alluding to the fact it's not to do with the brain, it's not to do with the body or the five senses in some format. And they're looking into the fact that drugs may actually stop people being able to remember these near-death experiences. Do you have some sort of conclusion as to how far the mind and consciousness goes? Again, from what we can determine, which yeah. is actually uh, fascinating and it raises questions about our whole science about what happens when we die, is that it appears that even though people have gone beyond that threshold of death and their brain has shut down, that entity that we call consciousness, the mind, the psyche, whatever you want to call it, does not seem to become annihilated. From the evidence we have, at least tens of minutes, if not hours of time afterwards, mm -hmm. How long beyond that, we don't know at this point. Have the, for the folks who have lost consciousness and come back, have there been any long-term effects afterwards? Well, those people who have these very deep, profound, mystical experiences, often they describe a sensation of being very peaceful, seeing a bright, warm, welcoming light, sometimes deceased relatives. And intriguingly, some of them describe a sensation of uh, a being that they describe as being perfect and full of light and love and compassion. Those who have that experience, are often very positively transformed for the rest of their lives. It's very profound, really? it's real to them. They become less afraid of death, they lose their fear of death completely, they engage in altruism, they're more uh, helpful to people, they engage more with family. It completely changes them. There's something very profound about this experience that they have. We often hear people say, I saw the light, some sort of light. Why do you think it is that some people see that and some people don't? Well, so, there are two possibilities. One is that, as you said, only some people see it, and we think that you know it might be 10%. But the alternative is that everyone sees it. But unfortunately, because of the medical treatments that they get afterwards in the intensive care unit by doctors such as myself to save their brain, um, they forget it. And one of our new studies is trying to actually decipher whether people have had it, but just forgotten about it. So he's saying that people go over and they see this light, and that's a very common thing that people describe as they see a light, which could be the gateway to this other dimension of the spirit realm, if you like, or, you know, where we go after we die in between lives, however it may be. And if you visit nderf.org, that's a big bank of records of people's near-death experiences, what they experience when they die and they come back. And this is very common. And a moment ago, he described how people feel infinite love and joy and peace. And that's a very common experience too. Well, that's a fantastic video on mainstream media right there. Hopefully letting some people know that when you die, it's not just lights out and that removes the fear of death. And some people, a small percentage, actually come back remembering what's gone on in the room and it's validated. And a lot of people come back saying they've had experiences and they come back with new memories, even though they're clinically dead. So well done, science. We're catching up at last. I think it has done a long time ago, but it's been well suppressed. Hopefully it's not going to be suppressed anymore. So don't forget to click subscribe if you're not already a subscriber to receive regular spiritual inspiration on your journey through life. Thanks for watching.